Hey everybody, Linus here. And today we're diving into the world of Linux, specifically three big hitters, Amazon Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and Ubuntu. We're talking servers, we're talking clouds, we're talking about which one might just be the distro to rule them all, or at least which one might be right for you. Now, if you're messing around with a server, especially in the vast expanse of Amazon Web Services, you're going to run into these three contenders. Each of these distros has its own quirks, its own advantages, and yeah, its own quirks that might make you want to throw your keyboard across the room. Stick around because we're going to break down each distro's strengths and weaknesses. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is right for you, whether you're a seasoned sysadmin or just starting out with your very first server. First up, we've got Amazon Linux. As the name suggests, this distro is all about Amazon Web Services. Developed by Amazon, it's optimized for their cloud platform. It's free to use on AWS with no hidden costs. Seamless integration with EC2, S3, RDS and more. However, it's very AWS centric and can feel limited outside that ecosystem. It follows a rolling release model, so expect frequent updates. If you prefer stability, this might not be for you. Overall, it's great for AWS users, but may not suit everyone. Next up, we've got the 800-pound gorilla in the room, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or RL, as the cool kids call it. This is the distro that your boss's boss probably uses. It's the go-to choice for enterprises big and small, and for good reason. RL is all about stability, security, and long-term support. When you're talking about RHL, you're talking about a rock-solid foundation for your mission-critical applications. They've got a massive ecosystem of certified hardware and software, so you know everything's going to work together seamlessly. And if something does go wrong, which, let's be honest, it happens, they've got your back with their legendary support. We're talking 24-7 support from some of the best Linux minds in the industry, but all that stability and support comes at a price, literally. RHL is a commercial distribution, which means you're going to need to shell out some serious cash for a subscription. And trust me, those subscriptions aren't cheap, but hey, you, you get what you pay for, right? Now, one of the things that can be a bit intimidating about RHL is its focus on stability. They're very conservative with updates, which means you might not always have access to the latest and greatest software. They do this to ensure stability and prevent any unexpected surprises, but it can be a bit frustrating if you're used to a more fast-paced release cycle. RHL can also be a bit more complex to manage than some of the other distros on this list. It's not exactly what you would call user-friendly, and it definitely helps to have some Linux experience under your belt before you dive in, but hey, that's what system administrators are for, right? Chapter 3. Ubuntu, the friendly face of Linux that can still handle its own in the server room. Finally, let's talk about Ubuntu. Ubuntu is like the Switzerland of Linux distributions. Known for its user-friendliness, massive community and versatility, it's great for beginners and used by big companies. Ubuntu's ease of use makes it popular. Intuitive interface, extensive documentation and a helpful community. A great place to start for Linux newcomers. Ubuntu has one of the largest, most active communities. Solutions are just a Google search away or ask for help on the Ubuntu forums. While not as common as RHL in enterprises, it can handle corporate demands. RHL has a head start, but Ubuntu is capable. Ubuntu offers long-term support, LTS, and regular releases. LTS releases every two years, supported for five, ideal for stable servers or workstations. Regular releases every six months, supported for nine, good for latest features or specific version needs. Ubuntu suits all experience levels, easy to use, versatile with a massive community. Ubuntu is definitely worth checking out. So there you have it folks, three amazing Linux distributions, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Which one is right for you? Well, as with most things in life, it depends. If you're living that AWS life and you want a distro that's free, optimized and plays nicely with all of Amazon's services, Amazon Linux is a great option. If you need rock-solid stability, enterprise-grade support and you're not afraid to spend some serious cash, RHL is the way to go. And if you're looking for a user-friendly distro with a massive community and a ton of versatility, you can't go wrong with Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech comparisons. See you in the next one.